Welcome to a Wayne County Bicentennial Minute in celebration of Wayne County, New York's unique history which spans 200 years and is historic to the core. On September 15, 1853, Antoinette Brown Blackwell became the first ordained woman minister in the United States as a pastor of the Congregational Church in South Butler, New York. Antoinette Brown was born in Henrietta, New York on May 20, 1825. As a child, she and her friends would play church in the barn, she playing the part of minister and the others the congregation. Against her father's wishes, Antoinette saved for three years and attended Oberlin Collegiate Institute in Ohio, the first school open to African Americans and women. Here she was accepted in the Ladies' Literary Course in the summer of 1846, and the following year she applied for the Oberlin Theological Seminary. The shocked faculty and trustees resisted her application, but bound by the college charter, allowed her to attend. In 1850, she applied with the men in her class for her license to preach. Not only was her license refused, but she was also told she could not participate in the graduation ceremony. In October of 1850, she was asked to speak at the first National Women's Rights Convention in Worcester, Massachusetts, where she met Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Lucretia Mott, and William Lloyd Garrison. This would lead to her lifetime involvement in anti-slavery, women's rights, and social reform. She then embarked on a lecture tour, and on July 4, 1853, she became the first woman to be invited to speak at an Independence Day celebration in South Butler. Soon after this, the following entry was made in her diary. I have accepted a call to the Congregational Church in South Butler, New York. It is a very poor and small church, and my salary is $300 a year, ample, I believe, for my needs in this small community. It is what I want, although it rolls upon the spirit a burden of deep responsibility. On September 15, 1853, it rained so much that the roof of the Congregational Church leaked and the Baptist Church across the street offered the use of their church. Antoinette reflected on the weighty occasion. It seemed to me a very solemn thing when our three deacons and these clergymen all stood around me, each placing a hand upon my head or shoulder and gravely admitting me into the ranks of the ministry. In June 1854, she left South Butler as her congregation held firm to their concept of God as a fierce, cruel, and vengeful monarch, a view she did not share. She married Samuel Blackwell in 1856, and they settled in Newark, New Jersey. She continued to lecture, and they had four daughters. In 1908, 58 years after leaving Oberlin, they inferred the Doctor of Divinity degree upon her. Antoinette passed away on November 5, 1921, at 96 years of age. On September 15, 2003, to mark the 150th anniversary of her ordination, a historic marker was placed at the Four Corners in South Butler. On a rainy day in September 1853, however, Antoinette broke through a barrier. There would be no going back now, and it all happened in South Butler, New York, in Wayne County.